All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already see us spinning the block. Spin that block, player. Spin it one more time. Look, we had to spin the block because we played these guys, man, and it just made me think of something. We need 2K to make attributes great again in 2K20. The shirt is in the store. If you like this shirt, let me know. This joint dope. Make attributes great again. And let me tell you why we need to make them great again, because this lockdown epidemic is getting out of control. I don't want to see this in NBA 2K. I'm tired of the excuse. I just like to play defense. I just, no, tell the truth. I'm trash and I want this game to do something for me. And so if I make a block now, I don't have to play defense because the game will literally play defense for me and I can get by on run outs and run outs down court. The other team's not gonna be able to score, not because I'm playing good defense, but just because I got a lockdown. And then if I miss shots because I'm trash and I'm going to miss shots, Nobody expects me to really make the shot anyway because I'm a lockdown. Let's just tell the truth. If it wasn't because lockdowns are overpowered, why didn't we see lockdowns in 2K18? We didn't see them in 17 other than me, BTR, Steffa, and, our other, and a few other people. Like, it's just crazy that, that people will sit here and just lie. If you, think, if you think that I'm lying, find a lockdown that can shoot that uses Aldridge. You won't find one. Like I said, the reason I say attributes don't matter is because on offense, attributes don't matter. On defense, they matter. So like with rebounding, they matter because if you don't have a certain rebounding threshold, you can't push people out of the way. You can't box people out properly. You just can't do something. If you have, don't have a certain defensive threshold, you don't get the animations where you can do certain things. The, the question to me is, why are you able to do certain things at all? Why can you get certain dribbling animations at all? if you don't have a certain a certain threshold. It really, to me, devalues the whole playmaker aspect. Because if you got a playmaker, like what's the, what's really the point where you can make a shot career? Look at this right here. I'm in the corner, that's a shot I make nine times out of nine. And I missed the shot just because they got locks on the court. And then like, like obviously he get his stuff slapped. But y'all understand what I'm trying to say. If you, if you, let me know down in the comments how many times you've played against lockdowns and you know you missing shots just because they're on the court. It's not because they're contesting the shot. It's not because they're playing good defense. It's not because they're close to you. It's literally because they're on the court, you're missing shots. The game, like you can literally be brain dead and play lockdown. It really does not make, it, you don't have to be able to do nothing. And if you're decent, you're gonna be dominant. And if you're good, you're gonna be exquisite. It really, it, it's crazy. Look at him, look like, do you see the shots that this guy's taking? He took, that's a pure rim protector that took that shot with confidence because he knows that the game will let him hit it. And like I said, if you're really nice, shoot with Aldridge. Don't shoot with base 13 or base or, or jump shot 24 or whatever they are. Shoot with shoot with Aldridge or, or shoot something like that. I ain't mean to take that shot, man. I tried to pass it, but it is what it is. Do something like that. Don't just come out here and use all the cheese animations. And that's the real issue. You can choose all the animations on offense. You don't get to choose any animations on defense. And you know exactly what I'm saying. You get to choose your jump shot animations so you can find the cheesiest one for that. You get to choose all the dribbling animations like behind the back six, um, behind the back three. Uh, what, what, else, what else do we got? Uh, a size up six, all this stuff. You get to choose all the cheesy animations, crossover three. Why can you even get crossover three as a stretch big or any other bill? Like you shouldn't even get crossovers why can you even get a moving crossover? It makes no sense. But you can string all of those together and look straight missed again just because I mean I was cold that time, so I probably shouldn't have taken that shot. But you can string all these animations together and make yourself look good. Look at the dumb decisions that he makes. He even took that shot. This is how bad he is, but sometimes he got he gets to look good in the game because he's a he's a rim protector. Who takes that shot? It doesn't make sense, but you know it is what it is. Like these, this team is literally the worst team of players I've ever played against. You're gonna see what the point guard goes at the end of the game. But the whole problem is they get to look good because it's a team of lockdowns. And 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 a, uh and a I don't know what he is. A playmaking sharpshooter is what he is, and they got two lockdowns behind it. So now my my shooter is rendered inert because he can't shoot the ball because they got a two-way on him. And then my my rim protector, my uh my two-way uh my two-way big man. Whether that's either two-way slasher, two-way athletic finisher, it doesn't matter because he's not gonna finish over that rim protector. He can finish over the lockdown, but you know it is what it is. And Joe don't even really play the game. So for us to be able to beat these guys and and they are quote unquote elite, but like it, I, I don't know, man. It is what it is. But y'all understand what I'm saying. Number one, also getting being able to throw the ball out is really what allows them. Look at this. Look at this. Like they they they're not even thinking. They're just playing the game and they just used to the game playing for them. But 
like I said, being able to throw the ball out and, and being able to circumvent offense in that way, that's why you can play with, with three lockdowns. Uh, you can shoot the ball because you get to choose your animation. Look at this dude. He going to catch. Oh, he missed that one too. That's the that's like the only cut. Well, he going to catch that one strong too. Look at that. Like, greened it. It does. I, I'm done. Like, what am I What am I even talking about, bro? Like, they literally came out here and was like, well, our pure rim is going to hit threes. So that's how we're going to win the game. Now, we figured out what their little game was after a while. We was like, I was like, the point guard is complete and utter garbage. So he can't do anything. I'm going to drive by him. They're going to set picks up top off balls for the, uh, you know, you know they're going to set off balls for NSTG legit. And then we'll be able to get buckets like that. But the whole thing is, it's like, you shouldn't even have to think that hard. It should be like, bro, they only got inside bills. We should not even have to work. Green! Look at him hit that with the shot clock winding down, hit a green on him. We shouldn't even have to worry about them offensively because they're very limited offensively. Like, I know I can shoot, but my shooting is over 70. And we've already always said when your shooting is over 70, you should be able to shoot threes or shoot something consistently. But when your shot is like in the 60s and the 50s, you should not even be able to find something that's going to let you green it consistently. And they green them consistently. It, it just is what it is, man. Like I said, if, it, if, if these are the things they're going to have to address in the next game or the game is just going to be doing, you know, besides the whole hacking and all that good stuff. But, like, I just I just don't see, like, I, bro, you didn't see no real protectors in 17. Look, he's just making, look, he's just making the, the dumbest decisions available because they were allowing him to do this last game. You get the games where it make you feel like you're Superman. And just because you feel like you're Superman, that guy, you think you can do it every time. And then you start doing it every time. Get screened. This is just good basketball right here. Pass the ball in, screen. Like, we're playing good basketball, and 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 I got to work that hard to get this guy open. It is, it's insane. But y'all understand what I'm saying, man. The, I, the whole point of the video is you're able to circumvent playing, you know, circumvent not having attributes on offense. But there's not, and he traveled right there, but there's nothing you can do on defense. There's nothing that's going to give. You get the good block animations on defense because you got a certain block threshold. Why? That's 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 the question I'm really asking. Why is it on offense you can you can choose animations? Well, because you can choose animations on offense, you get to circumvent having to have certain attribute thresholds because you can choose. There will inevitably be a cheesy animation at every level that's going to allow you to do something that you shouldn't be able to do and then you're going to be able to get by or left, right, or be in the game. But on defense, you can't choose animations. So because you can't choose animations, you can't choose anything cheesy. Look at that. Like, bro, he's not missing. That's that jump shot. What is that, 13 or 24? I can't tell which one that is. I really don't care because I don't use the cheese animations. I use Aldridge. So, I mean, I've been teasing it up for the last three years. But I'm just saying, like, if, if, if you that nice, why are you not using Aldridge? But, like I said, you, you can circumvent having a jump shot, being able to dribble, all that stuff just by just by choosing it but on defense we don't get to choose it so that's why they're really over that's why they really seem overpowered because they can choose the same animations that most people use all the good animations are in normal anyway and then then they get animations that we don't get because you know that he's gonna that, that, that this doggone uh two-way shot creator bro let's be real 16 two two-way shot creator can play defense and rebound he can play defense like a rim protector and defend any position on the court, and they rebound like a pure, uh, uh, like a pure uh, rim protector. Not, I'm sorry, like, like a pure rim protector. They rebound like pure glasses. If you don't have a glass on the court, the only person that's going to out rebound a 6'10 two-way shot creator is a pure glass cleaner or something like that. Because you can box, they can box out, they can literally do everything. And but that's what, like I said, that's why people feel like they can do everything just because of the fact that. Like, we got to get heated up, but they can choose the animations and keep up with us on offense. We can't choose the animations on defense, so that's why we can't keep up with them defensively. Like I said, this point guard was just completing utter garbage. And that's what really bothered me about this game is that, and that's why I'm even putting the game. That's cash, man. Bro, he's not missing. It's crazy. This, this, this should not be the case. That should never be the case where this, the, I, I don't know, man. Like, I don't know already even talk too much. I done said what I said, but y'all understand that's game time. Like, like I said, if they was good, uh, they would have been able to beat us right there. But I'm gonna leave this up here, right here, and show and show. Uh, we gonna bag it up right quick and, and just show y'all what, what I'm trying to say. I was all over the place in this game, but look at that. The pick up top, green bean, money team. That game is over with. Like I said, bro, look at this. 
look at look at this. I, I guess y'all can still see it though. Um, what is this? I'm I, I'm two for five. I, I took some shots I shouldn't have taken on that one. That's cool. Legit had twelve. Joe had six. The point guard didn't even score, bro. His only stats is two fouls. Like this dude right here is the one that really did all the scoring. Six for thirteen. He shot fifty percent, and they still had a chance to win that game. And we shot oh well, with the exception of me, we shot over sixty percent. And they still had a chance to win this game. Like, it's crazy. But y'all understand what I'm trying to say. I have found the reason that, that, that lockdowns are so powerful. They can choose all the offensive animations that help them keep up. But we don't get to choose defensive animations. If we can choose defensive animations, look, we either got to make attributes great again. They either got to make it so that we can, that, that, that attributes mean something. And you can't get certain things if you don't have the attributes. Like, I feel like you shouldn't even get Dribble moves if you if you don't have the attributes. That's how I feel. But like like you should they should, shouldn't even be an option. It should be just cut off. Like why is a stretch big dribbling? You ain't never seen Brooke Lopez dribbling. You ain't never seen uh, I'm trying to think Matt Bullock Matt Bullock dribbling. I, I'm I'm showing how old I am. You might have seen Dirk dribbling, but he's an irregular stretch. He he be like a shot creating stretch or something like that. You've never seen these guys dribbling. So why are they getting dribble moves on here, especially the best ones like crossover three? Like that's all you need really in this game. But anyway, like I said, bro, y'all understand what I'm trying to say. I mean, you can be garbage, and if you got a team of locks, man, you can you can you can win or make it very difficult for people. But this guy, I can't do nothing but take my hat off to general, man. Like he he's tried to carry the team, but like I, I don't know, man. I'm all over the place. Look, let's just make attributes great again. Let's make attributes mean something this time around if you can't shoot you shouldn't be hit you should hit one out of five from the corner you should hit one out of five if you can't dribble you shouldn't be able to dribble and if you lose the ball you should pick it up just like you did in 2k17 or 2k18 uh, and 2k17 pick it up when somebody body you up not lose the ball and then go into an animation where we can't even reach and steal it and then you get it back and you're still dribbling, and then that puts you in a better offensive position to go to the rim. Like stuff like that is why is why lockdowns and and other bills and non dribbling bills are so are so good, I guess. And that's why they devalue the point guard position, the playmaker position. But it is what it is, man. I gotta get up out of here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hey, let me know if y'all want me to put this shirt in the store. It'll be up today. It'll be up later today, so you can just check back. Make attributes great again. I think it's a dope shirt. But you know it is what it is. If y'all like, if y'all agree, let me know down in the comments. If you disagree, if you think the lockdown should be broke out of hell and be able to do anything that they want to, and uh, you know, and you don't even have to be good because you found attributes to circumvent the system, hey, let me know that too. But I'm out of here. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Holla! Three six dot this mug.